Fox River is creeping closer to businesses along its banks in Wrightstown. NBC 26's Max Grossfeld joins us now live from there with the very latest. Max. Stacy, this is the backyard of the aptly named the River Coffee and Cream. Take a look behind me. You'll see the sandbag wall. Village leaders say the river got about 18 inches up that wall last night as I step out of the way to give you a look at the flooded river. The owner of the River Coffee and Cream says when the river receded, she actually found about eight dead fish sitting in her backyard. Now, village leaders here in Wrightstown say the Army Corps of Engineer told them the agency would have to open up some dams to relieve pressure upstream. That's when they started sandbagging to help protect properties downtown. The river's owner says her property is okay and she couldn't be more grateful for all the people who came out and helped. They're just great people in Ricetown and, and it, it, we feel really cared for that they're helping, helping us out because we weren't quite ready for this. This is already the second time Deborah Tooze's property has flooded since she opened the coffee shop about a year and a half ago. She says when you have property on the river, sometimes you got to take the good views with the flooding, but says the sump pump and the dehumidifier are working hard to keep her basement dry. Keep you connected live in the village of Wrightstown, Max Grossfeld, NBC 26.